So why do you actually need an insurance? Why does it make sense for an institution uh, to have um, a commercial in insurance? Why does it make sense to to actually, yeah, well, pay money for um, for an insurance? How does that help you? Well, several aspects. First of, co of all, when it's of course about mitigating the financial loss. Uh, that of course is what comes to mind first. The artworks, the, the works of cultural heritage that you display in your museum, in your institution, are um, apart from the aesthetical, um, from the cultural aspect, from the, the meaning that it has for art, for society, for, um, for culture, they are financial assets of your institution. So a total loss, fire, total destruction, burglary, means that there is actually a financial aspect to it, a financial loss. So of course, that is what you what comes to mind first. People always like to think in total loss categories. So um, have that in mind. Of course, it's not only about the artworks that your institution owns. It is also about the financial aspect, the financial um, um, yeah, compensation for any loans that come to your institution. If something happened um, to an artwork that you had on loan, then obviously you have the responsibility towards the owner of that artwork to compensate them for, for that. So if it is not insured, that comes out of the pocket of the institution. But a lot of times what actually happens way more than a total loss is partial losses. So damage during the handling, during the setup of the exhibition, during the moving of the artwork. Um, so anything that, uh, yeah, that happens, like it falls over, um, maybe there is a pipe burst, it gets wet, uh, anything in this, this uh, category that just damages an artwork. So the artwork is still there, but it is damaged. It needs to be uh, conserved, it needs to be restored. So um, this is what, uh, where the insurance comes in. This is where an insurance company not only compensates for you know, the work that a conservator does, but they also help you in finding the correct, uh, the, the right, the fitting conservator, someone who can really help it and address the damage that happened um, in the correct way to receive, uh, to, to come up with the best result possible. The aspect in this case, in partial damage, is not only that, um, yes, of course you want to restore it, it is really there to, to uh, keep the cultural heritage, to, to care for it, but also um, on a more basic level, the art pieces that, um, that you show are, you know, what brings people to your institution, what brings people to visit, to spend time there, to um, you know, to investigate your collection, to to explore it, and uh, to yeah, to, to bring visitors. So it is really in the interest of the institution to have the cultural heritage that is in, on display, that is cared for, um, yeah, there and uh, and also available for the public to be actually seen. So in case of a partial loss, how do I? bring the, the pieces back on display um, in the best possible way, apart from obviously the very, very important aspect of caring for the artwork, um, of be being the custodians for um, these cultural objects. So this is these are two aspects why art insurance makes a lot of sense and why it is uh, important for institutions to have an insurance. And then, of course, what can an insurance company provide you? How can they support you with um, on another level? So insurance companies have a lot of experts when it comes to um, how can you secure a, a building? How can you secure an exhibition uh, place? How do artworks need to be packed? How need, do they need to travel? Who should you um, contact? 
they have a great network of experts that can support you, that can help you. So as um, a risk manager, I think it is very important to have a good partner in your insurance company, in your broker, in your intermediary, because they are a source of support. They're a source of specific knowledge, um, how to care for uh, artworks, how to care for pieces of cultural heritage, um, and how to mitigate, how to address any um, problems, any damages, any, let's say, things that come up that you as the risk manager have to deal with. So make sure that you have a specialized insurance that has the right coverage to be able to address the uh, compensation or the treatment of the damages that arise to your artworks and then also make use of their specialty knowledge, make use of their network and get the support and actively um, approach them to get the support that you need and um, be able that they complement your knowledge uh, in a way that profits uh, your institution and the work that you do.